So good afternoon. My name is Tom Kelly and welcome to this product preview of the Direct English International Language Center course English for Marketing. Right, here's a brief rundown of what we're going to talk about today. Give you a bit of uh, background information about the Direct English International Language Center. Then we'll talk a bit about our parent groups, Linguaphone, Group UK and Direct English UK. Then we'll have a look at English for Marketing and the course content in a bit more detail before we share some information about an exciting promotion with you all. And then we'll open up to some Q&A after that to uh, round off the 30 minutes. So first we'll talk about our center in Kuala Lumpur. We're based not far away from the Masjid Jamit LRT station and uh, Direct English International Language Center is one of the leading language centers in Malaysia. We seek to empower and inspire English language learners through the provision of high quality programs. We have a few dozen trainers on hand, all certified, experienced and friendly, and they're ready to help educate and to train you around your regular working schedule. There's a couple of shots of the interior. We've got our language workshop rooms and uh, regular language classrooms here. You can also see one of the casual study areas, some of the resources available and uh, the computers which we use for assessment. Now, Direct English International Language Centre is an authorised test centre for lingua skill. This is the Cambridge Assessment English programme. Uh, this is uh, something developed by the University of Cambridge which is a globally recognized by more than 20,000 leading universities, right. developed in the 90s to provide a fast and accurate way to assess language skills. The DEILC is also a member of the National Association of Private Education Institutions in Malaysia. Now this is an organization which seeks to further promote the business interests of private education institutions and to promote Malaysia as a center of educational excellence in the region. Now the DEILC offers a wide range of courses as well as short and part-time courses and language workshops all produced by the Linguaphone Group and Direct English UK. Our two core products are Business English, which uh, seeks to raise professionals use of English in the workplace based around uh, their regular office functions. We also run the general English course, which is targeted at student learners and adult learners who are seeking to raise their proficiency and confidence in speaking English every day. Okay, a bit of background information about our parent company now. Now the Linguaphone Group was founded over a hundred years ago and is recognized as a leading global language training provider. They're based in the UK with an impressive network of licensed partners and distributors, delivering some of the best English language programs around the world. Now their brand Direct English was created in 1997 and it's a language training program tailored especially for adult learners. Their training methodology aims to promote the human connection the idea that communication is key and focusing on a learner centric experience to make learning more enjoyable. Moving on then, we'll look at uh, some of the areas around the world where you can find the Linguaphone group. Well, Direct English is already has a strong presence in over 22 countries in most regions and the list seems to be growing every year. Currently, there are 90 Direct English live centers around the world including our center in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, here's just an illustration of that. As you can see, centers right the way across Europe, the Middle East and across Asia, uh, helping over 100,000 adult learners complete the direct English courses globally every year. Okay, now we'll talk a bit about um, some of our partners that have benefited from using the programs. Direct English is proud to have been the English language training provider of choice for the following companies. Perhaps you recognize some of these or have had direct dealings with them. We've got Microsoft, G2, 
General Electric, EY, IBM, Maersk, and Hewitt Packard. Here are some more groups and organizations who have benefited from courses run by the DEILC over the years in Malaysia. Right, moving on now to talk about the English for Marketing course. Now this course uses practical tasks and scenarios to develop specialist language and communication skills, which you'll need for a career in marketing. And as well as teaching the specialist language, the course also develops job specific skills, such as carrying out market audits using SWOT, HASSL and Five Force, planning for the marketing mix, preparing marketing campaigns, organizing events and exhibitions, and developing digital marketing strategies. The use of authentic context in the book further help prepare learners for real life working experience. There's 15 units in the course, and we'll just have a quick rundown of each of these now. Okay, in unit one, we start with an introduction to the role of marketing in business. And uh, we'll start off by maybe describing your skills and qualifications as a marketeer, talking about what an organization does and um, its core strengths and what it can offer other partners in the industry. We'll describe the role of marketing within an organization and how it should be used in order to promote the business correctly. And we'll also look at identifying stakeholders, of course, an important um, topic because you need to know who's going to be green lighting all of your marketing ideas and projects. Okay, so the second unit is the first of uh, two parts, looking at the marketing plan. First of all, focusing on the audit and objectives. Um, so we'll outline the marketing plan and uh, look at how you can carry out your marketing audit using the three types of analysis, uh, the PESL, SWOT, and five forces analysis. PESL is for identifying the external forces facing an organization, be they political, economical, social, technological, environmental, and legal. SWOT analysis is a way of an analyzing a company's position in their market sector, looking at their strengths and weaknesses and opportunities and threats. And five forces analyzes the competitive intensity of an organization, all important parts of the marketing plan. Then we'll look at setting marketing objectives, what you want to achieve from your plan. Okay, the second part of marketing plan, we focus on strategy and tactics. Uh, we'll be looking at writing a marketing strategy, planning and discussing the marketing mix. That's uh, the different elements that go into promoting a brand or product to promote the right product at the right time the right place, the right people, and the right price, all very important elements. And um, we'll look at presenting the marketing budget to your stakeholders, because of course they're gonna be the ones green lighting everything, and how to write an executive summary of your marketing plan for the stakeholders. Okay, unit four, looking at international customer communications. That's just something that's become more important as time's gone on with um, more business being done internationally, you'll obviously want to uh, expand at some point. So examine respecting differences in culture and cultural attitudes and behaviors that may exist between your country and another, and uh, to make sure that the language you use in communications is uh, suitable for different cultures. We'll look at summarizing meetings, making sure that everyone is in agreement as to what has to be achieved. Um, we'll discuss how to target a market segment, maybe in a different uh, country. This a market segment you are familiar with would have different requirements or targets that you need to meet. And we'll also look at adapting messages for new markets. How to bring a successful campaign overseas is not just a straight transferal process. It will need to be adapted in order to make it relevant. Okay, unit five is the first of the two part on um, the topic of market research. We'll start off by looking at uh, explaining research needs, maybe looking at some market research techniques. 
We'll be looking at gathering information on consumers' needs and preferences in order to improve engagement. And uh, then we'll look at terms that we can use in online surveys. Okay, market research part two. We'll look at how to describe the survey results for stakeholders. We'll formulate and explain a market research plan and the different elements that go into one. And we'll also look at writing survey questions and explaining survey data in an eloquent way. So unit seven is another two part topic. This time we're looking at new product development and branding. Unit seven specifically goes on to discuss the possibilities of an idea generation meeting. This will help you develop an idea into a concept statement, which is the short description of a product or service built upon to create your brand vision. And we'll look at creating a brand identity, how your company, product or service is perceived by its target audience and what makes it distinct from other offerings in the market. Unit 8 develops some of these ideas as we go on to look at um, writing a brief for the brand identity. We'll look at how to present and uh, give and receive feedback on marketing concepts from your stakeholders. And of course, the progress test, which is an important element of uh, product development. Okay, unit nine looks at the product launch. So we'll look at creating and presenting a marketing message, which is uh, how you should be talking about yourself as an organization or a product or service, and uh, the special language and adjectives that we can use to describe the good internal communications. And we'll look at communicating effectively to internal stakeholders. Again, these people who are in control of your marketing projects and budgets. So unit 10, we're looking at the promotional mix. We'll look at some of the tools that can be used in order to promote a product or service, whether they're through advertising or public relations, promotions and direct marketing. There's quite a long list of uh, different ways of promoting something these days. We'll look at how we can present and move on, showing different ideas in uh, marketing and presentations. We'll look at the effective use of slides and dealing with interruptions that you may get when you're trying to convey your message. And we'll also look at presenting the promotional mix for stakeholders. And unit 11 is the first in another two part topic, this time looking at digital marketing. So we'll examine some digital marketing techniques and uh, talk about the results you may get as a from uh, running a campaign. We'll talk about positive and negative results of the strategy and um, being in a meeting, taking suggestions, how to agree or disagree constructively and uh, how to put across your arguments. Unit 12 looks at the second part of the digital marketing topic. We'll look at how to use digital marketing objectives and uh, how to use the tools effectively. We'll look at writing good web copy, a special um, marketing spiel to use when you have to provide an online statement describing a product or service. And uh, it's useful to use keywords as well to increase your search engine hits and uh, rise your product above competitors. And we'll look at making your points persuasively, which of course you want um, people to be touched into action by your marketing material. In unit 13, we'll talk about agencies and suppliers. We'll look at how to respond to a request for information from a potential client and how maybe you can make an informal pitch or summary to that potential client in order to give them the information they need. We'll have a look at choosing uh, suppliers based on selection criteria and uh, also evaluating good copy that you may have received from them. Now, unit 14 deals with exhibitions and events. Maybe you've attended um, industry events in the past and uh, maybe had a stall at them. So maybe you've been on both sides of this. 
uh, but we'll look at how that you could go about uh, organizing a stand for an event. Maybe you need to book it using the telephone or via email. We'll talk about uh, how to deal with visitors to your stand in order to get your brand message across and uh, provide useful language tips for stand staffers to use in order to tie in with the brand image as well. And we'll also examine some special language that you may hear only in a trade show environment. And the final unit is on networking. Of course, all marketing professionals are always keen to expand their network of contacts. So um, we'll have a look at some social language you can use at an event, be it a social event or an industry event, in order to make small talk and engage other people. We'll look at networking topics and conversations you can have and how to expand upon those and how to write follow-up emails, including uh, maybe some copy or to follow up to ensure that your products and brands are remembered for the right reasons and make sure that your new contacts are familiar with uh, what that's about. Okay, that brings us to the end of the course content. We're just gonna have a quick look at uh, this promotion that we're running at the moment. Um, if you sign up now for the October intake of the English for Marketing course, then we will provide you with a free English level assessment. And um, these links will be emailed out to you. You can take the assessment for free, send them back for a review, and the results should be emailed back to you in 24 hours or so. It's completely free of charge, no strings attached, no pressure for commitments. Okay. We're also offering a third off our course fees for this product, the English for Marketing. If you sign up before the end of August using the discount code DEILCORG, then you receive that discount for the October intake of Business for Marketing. You see there's a QR code on this uh, slide as well. If you scan that, it will put you in contact with our Direct English International Language Center WhatsApp sales channel. And they'll be able to deal with any of your inquiries along that line. Alternatively, you can contact us via our Facebook page and um, you'll be put in the right place to make further inquiries. So join us as well for the webinar series that we're currently running. We're on week three. And uh, the topic this week is social English that will be taking place this Friday, the 21st of August. And um, maybe touch in with unit 15, which we just saw with this week, we're examining social English, how to make small talk and uh, topics with new contacts or clients that maybe you're meeting at an industry event, or maybe a customer or client that's come to town and you've been tasked with showing around and taking out for lunch. Okay, and moving on, we're just onto the Q&A session now at the end, if you've got any questions, uh, now is a good time to ask them. Mm -hmm. Monitoring for anything coming in. Any questions? Okay, just been asked, how long is the English for Marketing course? Well, it's a weekend program actually, and um, we'll be broken up into eight sessions. So we'll be doing four hours per session and the course duration in total is 32 hours. Okay, another question about the English assessment. Uh, yes. It's completely free and there's no hidden charges for the English test and no charges for the result. It's a no obligation assessment that we're um, providing to you in exchange for sitting in for our course today. Okay, um, if you sign up for this course, we provide a book um, by Cambridge English. It's called English for Marketing. And um, you won't have to come to the center to pick it up. It's something that will courier out to you. And um, this will help you 
do some private study work and also we'll be using it for the live sessions with um, the trainer as well. So next class, uh, which day? I think this one starts in October. We're not running it yet. We're looking for signing up for the October intake. Our classes will be on Zoom. Uh, yes, I think we're using the Zoom uh, setup for all the remote classes at the moment. Okay. Okay, i um, being asked if we charge any registration fees. Uh, normally we might charge a fee of 100 ringgit, but um, signing up using the promotion code, I think we're also going to waive the registration fee. So it's a great time to sign up for the October intake. I need free English classes. Any free English classes? Um, well, we're running the webinar on Friday, which uh, you're welcome to come along and join. And um, that would be like a small taster of a class. Doesn't have the usual back and forth of um, the classroom setting, but uh, we'll be using the materials from the Business for English uh, course. If you're interested in joining that one, um, maybe you can sign up for the link via Facebook. They'll have all the information there. If you search for Direct English International Language Center, then uh, you should come up on our page and you can sign up for the webinar series there. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the QR code just for a second, uh, just in case you didn't get a chance to scan it already. And uh, there, I'd like to end today's presentation. I hope you've um, found it informative and learned a bit about what the English marketing course is going to be about. Um, looking forward to learning a couple of things as well. And um, look forward to seeing you all again sometime in one of these sessions or in our webinar series. So thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. And um, if you have any further questions, visit us on our Facebook page where we'll be able to get in touch and uh, provide you some more information. Okay, thanks very much.